An elderly person received a health check and was found to be very healthy, so the doctor asked the senior what the secret to their good health was. The senior responded, I've been married for 50 years, and early in our marriage, my wife and I made a promise. If I get angry, you go to the kitchen, and if you get angry, I'll go for a walk. Looking back, I realize I went on a lot of walks. That's how I stayed healthy, he said with a laugh. For maintaining health and a wise marital life, how about going for a walk? Hello, I'm Ella, a love coach for the middle-aged. Today's topic. Not only for middle-aged couples but also for maintaining a good marriage life, I'd like to share some wisdom that you must know. It may sound too obvious, and everyone knows it, but we tend to forget the most important things in life because we're busy. Why not look for a wise way to think again about our happy marital life? Please subscribe, like, and set notifications. In Europe, nearly half of marriages end in divorce. Remember when you first fell in love? Where did the feeling that made our hearts flutter several times a day go? Is it a hormone issue? Indeed, the hormone oxytocin plays a significant role in maintaining love. Prairie voles, one of the few monogamous mammals, maintain a devoted relationship for life once they fall in love. However, if oxytocin absorption is blocked in prairie voles' brains, their love for their partners ends. Conversely, mountain voles, which change partners at any opportunity, become suddenly loving and faithful partners when given oxytocin, according to studies. While we can't apply all these experiments to humans, it's clear that we must say goodbye to the excitement of early romance when hormones stop working. Yet, there are certainly people who overflow with love even after more than 20 years of marriage. What's different about long-lasting couples? They share a self-expansion model, meaning they expand themselves through their relationship. Let's look at this easily through drawings. Which picture closest represents your relationship with your loved one? Couples feeling distant from each other might choose picture one, while those feeling connected might choose any of the others. If you look closely at the circles, their size increases as they overlap more. It's about expanding oneself through the existence of each other. So, to keep love alive, it's crucial to expand the overlapping area, the us connection. How can we expand this connection? First, experience new things together. The excitement and joy from experiencing new things bring back the thrill in our hearts. Couples who actively seek exciting experiences report significantly higher satisfaction in their relationships afterward. Simply stepping out of familiar spaces regularly can be enough. The brain interprets the excitement from new activities as exhilaration. Thus, if two people continue to experience new things over the years, they can keep expanding the US connection. Second, respond to your partner's bids. In experiments with newlyweds, very different responses were observed to each partner's bids. For example, if a woman hears a bird and exclaims, that sounds like a pigeon, doesn't it? Listen. The response to this bid can vary. Some respond enthusiastically, while others may respond with a disinterested yeah. The study revisited these couples six years later and found interesting results. Couples who divorced within six years had, on average, responded appropriately to their partner's bids about 33% of the time during the experiment. In contrast, Couples who remained in a good relationship six years later had actively responded about 86% of the time. Even if a topic seems uninteresting or unimportant, making an effort to respond to your partner's bid can help you share the same subject and support each other.
Third, remember the 5 to 1 rule. This rule states that it takes 5 positive interactions to offset 1 negative interaction. Simply put, if you have one argument with your loved one, you need 5 good experiences to compensate for that one. Our brains are sensitive to negatives but easily overlook positives. Even couples who have been in love for a long time argue. But they make much more effort after a big fight. Remember, it takes 5 positive interactions to forget one negative interaction. Fear, love, anger, patience, passion, and even emotion accompany us in every moment of life. But we try to escape from fearful and unfamiliar emotions with minimal effort. However, if we find ways to handle our emotions properly, we can lead a much better life. We always have love and consideration for each other, but we stop at just thinking about it. Happiness doesn't come from thoughts alone. Only active effort and actions can create our happiness. Try doing something for your spouse today. And don't hesitate to express your love. Why hold back on something that can't be bought with money? Today's topic is something everyone knows but lacks in practice. Thank you for watching until the end. I support your happy love life in middle age. I was Ella, a middle-aged love coach. Have a happy day.